All right, I'm back here at my father's place, and uh, today I'm going to play around with uh, trying to figure out who is the king of Return to Home. So I brought a few drones here. I have uh, the Mini 4 Pro that's currently lined up here. That would be the first contender. Then we have sort of uh, the competitor, uh, Air 3, Air, not Air 3S, but Air 3. That one is ready. And then we have the Air 3S, which we have seen can do some pretty remarkable things. <laughs> that's for sure. This is, of course, a bit of a nasty test because there's no satellites available, or at least very few. There's only like five, seven satellites available under the roof. So let's start by firing up the drone and get it out there. So now we're going up. We're flying to somewhere here in the middle of the field here. And then should probably have recorded some video, but I'll save that for another day. I can do that on the way back. So now I'm pressing the return to home. And then let's see what happens. It's doing somehow, let's grab the camera here. It's doing some of the same stuff as uh, the Air 3S did, but I highly doubt that it would go under the roof as it is. It'll be interesting to see. You see now it's coming down. And I'm ready to punch the pause button if something goes wrong. And something is definitely not like it's supposed to be. It's currently right now over the roof. So let, let's, uh, let's just see what it does. Just see what it does. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and because it doesn't have this advanced uh, way of uh, returning to home, it lands on the roof instead. Because it kind of thinks it's inside. Yeah, it sort of it flies on top of that location and of course it, it tries to land there. It was supposed to go in here and land. Like this. Oh. But that was not possible. Ah, well, you couldn't really say that it's a fail because uh, it basically just did what uh, we asked it to do. So let's move on to the Air 3. That's a more equal contender. So now it's successfully connected. Some of you have actually uh, asked questions about the video quality between one drone and the other. So let's just record some 4K 60, I guess, uh, from this test. So you can see the difference. So we're doing the same thing again. Going down in the field here. Account is not logged in, doesn't need to be. So, yeah, let's just uh, grab a little bit of video here so you can see the difference. The neighbor's house here. So, you just get a couple of seconds of that, and then I can put that on, uh, next to each other on the screen so you can see the difference. And now it updated the home point. That's interesting. So <laughs> that might actually cause a problem because if I press return to home now, you will see that it set the home point down in the field. So it's actually landing in, in the field. So we need to abort that. <laughs> that would probably also have happened with the Mini 4 Pro if uh, it wasn't fired up in advance and it had like five, seven satellites before it took off. So basically the problem here right now is that it's, it's setting the home point on the go. Let's go back here to me. What? <laughs> That's 
the next problem. Man, come on. Because I'm not locked in and the home point is set out there, it will not allow me to go further away than 50 meters. So I can't really get it home. Ah, that's stupid. So maybe what I need to do is I need to you know, mess around with this. And Hey, man, this is funny to test out these uh, the scenarios in real life. So if I go in here, there's no, no reason to uh, yeah, panic over this because it's a private property, so just land in there. <laughs> down there somewhere. So update home point. So now I can go here and I can say that I want my home point to be the controller. This is funny. This is really, really funny. So now I've updated the home point so it's the controller. So if I'm, yeah, so now I can make it go back. <laughs> and this is the beauty about doing these videos because uh, I'm not preparing for it at all. So, uh, so I'm just showing you what it is that I'm actually seeing. So it's a, uh, we are ending up in a lot of uh, scenarios and, and of, of course if you retrospect you think about it, it makes kind of sense, but it's a, uh, it's kind of a problem. Okay, so let's grab the camera here, see what it's doing. So this is running into basically the same problem here, that it's under the roof. And we already saw it fail, so let's just move it over here. I don't know why I want to land it in there. So. Whoa! Yeah, kind of stupid. <laughs> Wonder if I whacked the prop there. Yeah, I did. So how stupid was that? I basically put out these two yeah, blocks of wood so you could see the precision of the takeoff and landing point. But yeah, that's what happens when you are in good company. So now I will demonstrate what you're getting with the F3S. I go out here very fast and we do it as fast as we can so we don't leave it any chance. So, oh, shower. Ah, oh, come on. I need 60 here. Start it, go up, fly it out here, and then up. So then we're flying it down here somewhere. And this has uh, exactly the same problem as before. So, that one's one is also not, I guess, not locked in. But it still recorded the home point exactly where it took off. So that's a major difference. So let's just see if it's locked in actually. Yeah, it is locked in. Okay. So that's why we're not seeing the same problem with the altitude, with the, with the distance. But in this case, because the home point was recorded here while taking off, it would have limited my distance for, I think, 50 or 30 meters from here into the field. So that would not be the same problem as we saw before where basically the drone was prevented from returning home as the home point was set when it was arrived into the destination in the field. So, so now we are here. I'll give you a little bit of video here to compare with. We just adjust it down to, so it's the same. So this is the standard video comparison between the Air 3 and the Air 3 S. So, let's push the button here, see what happens. You kind of know if you watched the, uh, the, the previous video that I made, we know what will happen. Hopefully we know what will happen. So, it goes without saying. I need to be really careful what I'm saying because I kind of jinx it sometimes. So now it will probably come up and tell me that it's, it's difficult yeah, see, look at this. I need to press the C2 because it says that it is a complex environment. But right now it's coming down very nicely and it's not over the roof. So it's coming down. You can follow it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Hopefully it would not nick the last prop. No! Yeah. 
<laughs> Damn it! I nicked another prop, but still, it's pretty accurate. It's like uh, within uh, 30 centimeters. I should probably have chosen something else for this uh, experiment. As it right now, yeah, it cost me two, uh, two props. But still, it's pretty amazing. Look at this. It took off between these two with zero satellites and I just plowed it into the field and then it, uh, it came back at the same time. So, so I can without any doubt say that the king of return to home, that is <laughs> definitely the athlete, definitely. All right, if you're interested in buying this product, I do want to mention that this product was sent to me for free by DJI. So search various sources uh, for information to make a qualified buying decision. But as you can see, I'm burning my way through <laughs> some props. So of course, I've included purchase links in the description below. So if you want to support the channel and help me replace some of the stuff that I break along the way, that would be highly appreciated. You pay the same and it means the world to me. Also, if you want to see more of the other videos that I made around this drone, you can access those through this playlist that I've compiled through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.